Hello everyone. This this will be a short video. It, it's really about this uh, fan, but I'm gonna throw a couple of things in there to extend it a little bit. Uh, they're really not enough to make an entire video about uh, fuel rail crossovers. See this, this starts out as a clear tubing over time comes hard as a rock and they, they break they tend to break uh, right where they go into the rail here's one I pulled the full insulation up of you can see that that thing is is brittle it's turned brown it's super brittle you don't want that I promise you this is a good solution. 300 PSI EFI hose. Use these pinch clamps. Push it right on. Crimp it down. These type crimps will work. You can buy cheap ones also. Another little something here. If you have an old CCRM that still worked, but you replaced it because you didn't want it to go out and uh, lose a fuel pump, which might de might destroy the engine if it's going to lean it out. This is a standard breakout box. It's used to remotely operate different functions on the car. Do something similar with this uh, old CCRM. Cut the tops off these relays. At that point, you can you can trigger the fan, the fuel pump, anything it controls. Fan, fuel pump, uh, fan high low. If you're if you're using that, but that's just a cheap, simple, easy way to to activate things and test. Now this is a fan setup. Uh, this particular fan is thick, so you do have to slightly modify a brace uh, in order to get enough clearance to fit it in. But thin thin fans will, will go right in. This is a, I think this one's 12 inch, and I'm I build this little harness to power it with. It's a a ground plugs into the plugs into the fan. I put the same uh, the female connector on the the fan that's already installed, and you have your power wire and your trigger wire. You can trigger this a lot of different ways. Uh, you can use a switch. You can use uh, thermal relays. A, a lot of different ways it can be done. Next, I'll go out and actually film film the unit on the car to show how easy it is to set up. But if you're having trouble with cooling, you've already done the other the other modifications, the high speed only. And you're still having issues. Uh, and a lot of people, a lot of people do. They live in hot areas. But uh, I'll go out and film that and uh, put it together and get back. This is the setup of the auxiliary fan. Also has a high speed only. This wire straight across into a Bosch relay. That's wired straight into the battery. It's triggered by the Terminator X under fan 2 and with the AC on.